Dear American friends, it would be better for me if all of you could speak German. <laughs> that would make the things easier for me. However, I think nobody speaks German, except us. <laughs> okay, let's try it in English. Please excuse me if my English sounds bad or a bit adventurous. Maybe it's better for you if I speak English. Then it does not take so long and we have more time for talking and drinking. <laughs> if I spoke German, the speech might take longer. Because in German I could do it better. Usually this is not a problem for me, as I said, in German. I try to make it short. I have prepared some sentences, but I need a concept. Never before in my life I have took a speech in English. <clears throat> Today is the first time. However, sometime is ever the first time. I am quite excited and nervous. I hope everybody can understand me. Do you? We can. Yes. yes. <laughs> it sounds good. Encouraging. As you know, my name is Peter. This is my oldest daughter, Christina. Here is Thomas, her boyfriend. These two are also my inter interpreter. I need them urgently. <laughs> We come from Germany and we started yesterday morning with our car from Braunschweig, where Christina and Thomas live, to Hannover Airport. <clears throat> from there we flew to Amsterdam, from Amsterdam to Detroit, and from Detroit to Los Angeles. It was a long flight. The distance is 6,200 miles, or nearly 10,000 wow. kilometers. Nearly 26 or 7 hours ago, our trip started. Thank you so much for your very friendly welcome. We are absolutely stunned and deeply moved. It is an unbelievable story that I could help Frank with my bone marrow donation. My whole family and I are very glad about it. I want to greet you very warmly from my wife, Monica, from my son, Dominic, and his family, and baby girl, Sophia, four weeks old. From my youngest daughter, Stephanie, from my old parents, from our whole family, and from all who know that we meet and visit you in L.A. Hopeful all of them have taken part in the recovery and rehabilitation of Frank. Never before I have had contacts to anyone in the USA. Still the fortune brought Frank and me together on a wondrous way. <coughs> the only contacts I have ever had to people in the States where the contacts to Frank and Tibroni family. And since our intensive emailing, most likely some contacts to the US NSA. <laughs> I can assure you the last mentioned were very one sided. <coughs> it's a great pleasure and grace for me that the life led us together. <coughs> In addition, it was like a wonder for me to be the person which could help Frank with the bone marrow donation about his dangerous sickness. I have no voice. In June 2011, I got a letter of enquiry from the Donner Center in Germany, where, was, where I was registered. 
They asked me if I wanted to spend stem cells for a critically ill person. I was speechless. Speechless. Because I thought that I would be too old for stem cell donation in the meantime. The limit for donation is 60 years. And I was already older than 59. I have only needed some moments and I said, yes, of course, I do it. It was not a question for me. The incredible story could take its course. Let us all be thankful and happy. The real hero is Frank, not me. I looked him up, I look up to him because he has won the fight against this drastic disease. We wish him furthermore good progress. Frank, make your way. I hope you can come with your family someday to Germany for visiting us. Yes. I can't believe that such a great number of people came to welcome us. It is like a state visit. I think here are more people than at the state visit of President Obama. <laughs> Dear family, <clears throat> thank you so much for your kind invitation and the great welcome. Dear Hinji, dear Frank, on both sides we have written to us a lot of letters or emails in the last years. It was always a great pleasure for me and my family to read your emails and to hear from you and your family. We have brought some gifts for you, but we haven't had time to unpack our suitcases. We will do that tomorrow morning. Is it okay for you? <laughs> We are a bit tired from the long flight, but also very glad to be here. It's all like a dream, but it is, wonder it, is, it is a wonderful dream, but this wonderful dream became true. Thank you for listening and facing. Final leader. <laughs> <laughs>